We had a great time in Aylesbury and just leaving these fantastic moorings. Thanks CRT. My young love said to me My brothers were mine And my father once liked you For your lack of kind then she laid her hand in mine And this she did say It will not be long, love Till our wedding day And she stepped away from me And she moved through the fair Not too far then There's Nutshell, and there's the pub. Here we have the Red Lion Public House. That's a 30. That's a 30. Quick little Barbie in the back deck of Nutshell. How's this joint? Magic out here. Abs I don't know where we are. We're near the red line. That's all I know. Doing the ablutions. Here we go. Some uh, very creative CRT signage. Spring has definitely sprung. This is, uh, what's this called, babe? This is All Saints Church. We're just going to have a bit of a sticky bake and look around. It's a new life. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. Yeah, you can come in and pray or just... What well, like... year it goes back to? I don't know. I know the hymn numbers you see up there. Yeah. So there's a please do and please don't here and I just read on one of the please don'ts Don't fire guns and don't throw stones I know who'll win yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful is this place? Right on the canal the canal's just there You can hear all the lambs baying, it's just beautiful A little lift bridge coming up Thank you, Bridge Master. That fella's gonna come through behind us. Oh, I it. He can't do it by himself. Oh, is that why he was there? Yeah, because he can't get off the island. She made her way homeward with one star away as the swan in the evening. Oh, back into farming country. Oh, I feel so nice to be have the smell of cows in the morning. Lovely. Reminds me of home. It's just come down through this lock here, lock number 20 something. Yeah. And there's a pub right in the lock. So we better go and try it. It's yeah. after 11. So uh, we'll report later. Yeah. See ya. We're at the Grove Lock pub right on the lock here on the GU. And we've stopped in for a quick beer. And I'm having an Oliver's Island, which is an island on the Thames where the boats that wanted passage used to have to pay in gold to get through. And it's also the island where during the Civil War, Oliver Cromwell 
head um, and he got there via a mysterious tunnel that has yet to be found. So a bit of history about Oliver's, Oliver's Island and uh, let's see what it tastes like. It doesn't feel like a pint glass, it feels like a... It feels little. Anyway, oh it smells like a fruit salad. It tastes like a fruit salad. That's a good breakfast beer. Um, it's crisp, malty, and yet pale. It's not bad. It's, I don't know, seven, seven and a half. It's, yeah, it's refreshing on a nice spring day when the sun's out. Cheers. Okay, well, I've got the same one, so we'll see what I think of this one. Actually, I really, really, really like this one. It's, it's light, it is fruity, it's lemony, it's zesty, it's refreshing. Yeah, that gives eight and a half for me. You still find a few working boats on the canals. This is the local coal boat. So he does coal, gas, diesel, collects all your old batteries, and uh, hell of a nice guy. Great to see the working boats on the canals. There's your dog. Lovely. Well, there's not a bacteria on the canal today. There's lots of boats moving around, so maybe it's the beginning of the higher season. Now I've been to an ironmongery section. It must be springtime. The duck hatch is open and the canoes are coming past. Spring is great, and a bottle of wine. Yeah, I've got my vino, Pinot yes. Griglio. It's a bit of Pinot Griglio. Pinot, bit of Pinot. From my Italiano. <laughs> well, it seems to be barbecue night every night this week. Tonight I've got a couple of lamb um, joints in there that I've prepared, and um, we're going to smoke it. We're going to a bit of a hickory in there tonight. So. There we go, I'm just going to get those browned off and then drop the temperature right down and do a, uh, a smoked lamb slow roasted dish. Check this out. How still is it? It's glassing off beautifully as we used to say when I was water skiing. This is absolutely, whoops, spinning it around. That is the best barefoot and water you can get. So what are you up to, Magnus? Oh, I'm just making some gaskets. For the um, for the thermostat housing, because the the nutshell overheated. We had um, yeah, roasted it was really roasted weird. Nuts. We had roasted nuts. Um, it overheated, and I um, I checked everything, and all I could think of is thermostat. So I pulled the thermostat out and tested it in boiling water, and. It seems to be working. I don't know. So I'm going to run without a thermostat for a day and see if that's fixed it. Um, but of course, got to make new gaskets. So I raided the uh, cup of soup packet and um, we have now got some new gaskets. 
temporary of course until I get a new thermostat and new gasket kit. So I'll go and bolt this back on and see how we go. What are you doing now? I'm going to whack it all back together. Putting the um, thermostat housing back in with my new gaskets and um, without a thermostat to see if the issue was the thermostat. If you can keep the light on the issue. The issue is down here. That's where the thermostat oh, right, lives. In there. So yeah, anyway. But is that enough? We'll have a go. Here's another pub right on the canal with the three locks. And there are three locks. This is the bottom lock. And here are the top two locks. And here's the pub. Well, we've arrived at the boatyard and we're going to get some fuel. Looks like a new one. Lots of things going on here. Here's what we thought was a pub, but it's not a pub. I call it anticipation. Yeah. Bye bye. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Oh, wow. And she lifted her head up, or he, I'm not sure which. Right, oh, we're coming up to the aqueduct, not viaduct, over the river Ooze, I think it is. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will, which is good. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, it might not be. It might be over just the road. Oh, we'll soon see anyway. Going over the uh, the road. Pretty exciting. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. And there's the other end of it. I love this. This is so, so neat. time and here are all the beautiful little lambs and over there you've got a little nursery which is just the same as our calves you get one mum and she looks after lots of them so that's the same oh they're very sweet it's all very exciting new life oh they are so cute so it looks like we've come across an eco-friendly products boat. Batteries, torches, lights. Kindling. Uh, He's a roving trader. Headlock. And there's his little hatch. Welcome to Stoke Bruin. Stoke Bruin lock flight. Seven locks, 17 meters. Lock number uno. Uno loco. Here it is. Noise. So here we are, the last flight of seven locks coming up into Stoke Bruin for the overnight stop. And we've locked through all the way with the last resort. And it's lovely off the ground. There's some quite unique gates. I've never seen these before. Really, really cool. Not in use anymore. But, uh, yeah, really cool. Gotta stop saying cool. Your turn to commentate, when. Okay, well, um, we've had a lovely day. We've just come up the seven locks, a flight of five and two on the top up to Stoke Bruin? Bruin? Bruin, Bruin yeah, Don't Stoke know. Bruin. Um, so we've come to this, it's almost like a little hamlet. It's very pretty. 
and there's a pub here which we're going to go to and then tomorrow we're going to go and check out the museum the canal museum and then after that we might stay a day or two which is unheard of but we might and then we're going to go through the big giant tunnel yeah so that's what's exciting whoops there you go yep so that's cool. it so we're going to the pub now for see a change you. see you in the pub so yeah gonna go and see what sort of aisles i've got here so did I. Fantastic. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it smells lovely. Chips are really hoppy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, another one's in the room. Well, life, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but it's a bit more of a balance for us. Oh, no, it's just a small pan. I like that. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> and that's not your kind of beer. And then this angle. <laughs> this is wicked. So was that your first game ever? Uh, what's that score then? Is that anything? A six. Oh, it's done like that. So we're one, we're one each. You would then throw back for me, and let's say you've got an 11. Uh, and I've got a seven. How can you get 11? Right. So, home, away. Yeah. The second pair go off, and let's say they, they reverse. So they yep. five two two five. Yep. Yep. So that will become seven seven. So it's a new like bar. Thing on the price to know. So here we are. Yes. At the boat inn. We've just had the best night and um, met the locals. Yes. And we were going to have dinner here, but um, because we only plan to stay here two nights and have whoops sorry there we go and have dinner here um tonight and then maybe go to the other pub tomorrow but we are where are we going tomorrow night we're going to a skittles league match in a pub about three or four miles away um, we've been invited by is, the locals which is in a, a what used to be a pub but is now actually an Indian restaurant but it has a Skittles table is that what you call it yeah I don't know. so we're gonna go and hang out with the locals they've invited us to go to yeah. experience this Skittles Northampton League competition thing. that's gonna be cool thing so we'll, we'll take the camera and see what happens so tonight we're gonna go try the other pub out the navigation for an ale and dinner and something to eat see you later see ya ciao yeah, we're doing a CC. Oh! We're two camera. Two camera. Hello, everybody. So we're now at the Navigation Inn, and we're going to go in to the inn and have an ale at the inn, and then we're going to have something to eat. So um, we'll see ya. Ciao. Ciao. Over. Yeah, he's coming, and you're in the middle of the road. Yeah. So we're at a Marsden's pub here in um, God Stoke Brewer. Stoke Brewer. Um, and this beer is a pedigree. It's um, a mildly dark colour. It has a fantastic head on it. And let's give it a crack. It's a 4.3%. Oh. Yeah, not bad. It's good. It's good. We've just been at the pub across the road, the boat inn, and had the biggest night and met the locals and drank a few pints. And I wish we had reviewed the beers there. Oh, we? Yeah, but we couldn't really. We couldn't. It was a close, intimate sort tiny. of tiny pub and a tiny room, and we couldn't really get the camera out. It looked stupid. Um, but we had the best beers. Yeah. They were really, really good. But this one. Yeah, it's good. It is really good. It's up there. It's an eight. Wow. And it, yeah, it's it's not too cold. It's flavoursome. It's malty. Uh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. See ya.
Okay, so I've got a 61D Pale Ale, 3.8%. Um, here goes. That's a yum yum yum. That's a real yum yum yum. That's like my when we're doing copper. Which seems to be the benchmark beer for me now. It's an eight and a half. That's delicious. Eight and a half. Delicious. Wow. Cheers. And how does it rate to the rest of the beers you've had tonight? It's the best beer I've had tonight. I've had this is the fourth different beer I've had tonight. But they were all really lovely beers. So it's a shame we didn't get a chance to talk about them. Um, what was that the, the other one I had? A um, so I can't remember the names. Cumberland. That was me. I had it as well. Um, anyway, we, yeah. That I don't need to talk enough. That's enough. Just cut it at the other bit. <laughs> the cut? That's a cut. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. In October we will come 150,000 strong when the pickings over will be gone They call us harvest gypsies We only come because we must We were driven here by dust And they don't even look at us They call us harvest gypsies That it's ever been I sold my blankets for gasoline And it's only hunger that I've seen 